Sim Racers! Welcome back to YUEM Weekly! This show recaps all Sim Racing related news from the previous week. This week, there are Grand Turismo 7 updates, Steam Deck Games List updates, and new Motor Racing Sim products. I'm your host, Cynthia, and let's jump right into it! To begin with, the Grand Turismo 7 1.2 updates. Grand Turismo series has always been the most player in the market, and they are published the latest update to raise the heat of the player scene it has been published for a few months. Let's talk about new cars. They have included three in this update. The first one is the McLaren MP44. It was one of the most dominant F1 race cars ever built taking both drivers' and constructors' titles in 1988, winning all but one race. This car reminds the old epic era of Arton Cena and Alan Prost. Including this car in the game would be a time machine experience back in the day. Secondly, Pontiac GTO, the judge from 1969. The judge name came from a comedy routine, Here Comes the Judge, used repeatedly by Sammy Davis Jr. And finally, the Porsche Cayman GT4 2016, the baby GT from Porsche. Six-cylinder, 3.8-liter displacement, horizontally opposed naturally aspirated engine, H-pattern shifter has always been a dream car for all sim racers. So they have released a new car model of the Tommaso Mangusta created in collaboration with Christian Dior has been added. For the track updates, three additional layouts for the Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya have been added, including the GP layout with no chicane, the national layout, and the rallycross layout. For more details, visit our website. Next, the Steam Deck Verified Driving Games List. The Steam Deck is a handheld gaming computer developed by Valve. Released on the 25th of February 2022, the Steam Deck can be played as a handheld or connected to a monitor in the same manner as the Nintendo Switch. It is an x86-64 V3 device with integrated gaming inputs designed to play the entire Steam library, including Windows PC games via the Linux-based Proton compatibility layer. The system is an open platform allowing users to install other compatible games on the device or on other operating systems. Due to potential confusion on game compatibility, Valve introduced a process in October 2021. They brought in additional stuff to review games on Steam to ensure a game is fully playable on the Steam Deck. Games confirmed to be compatible with the Steam Deck, including those with Proton and any middleware DRM solutions that by default meet minimum performance specifications are marked as verified. Games that may require some user tinkering with settings, such as using a system control to bring up the on-screen keyboard, are tagged as playable. Famous driving games like the Euro Truck Simulator, Dirt Rally Series, F1 Series, and Automobilista 2 are supported. For the complete supported driving game list, please visit our website. Yes, it's that time again when I kindly ask you to subscribe to support our channel. It is our biggest motivation to create new videos. Don't forget to join our Discord community to share your sim racing moments with us. Finally, let's talk about the new Moza products. Moza was founded in 2012 by automotive engineers and sim racing drivers. Goodson Moza is a leading innovator in camera stabilization systems and vehicle stability technology, and they are determined to create innovative and professional sim racing equipment that drivers can depend on for quality and endurance. Their slogan is, go further, go faster, with Moza Racing Ecosystem. Last week, they released the Moza R5 Direct Drive PC only wheelbase bundled with an SRP light paddle set. And most surprisingly, they set a price of $599 only. This makes them the most affordable entry-level direct drive wheelbase plus pedal set bundle on the market. A staggering price for a direct drive with everything you need to get started in one package. Moza R5 wheelbase outputs 5.5Nm of force and sits under relatively recent Moza R9's 9Nm option. Its compact size and lightweight make it ideal for those without a space for a full-size racing rig, but the downside is that it doesn't perfectly line up with the mounting points of some racing rigs like the next-level wheel stand 2.0. 
The new ES wheel sits below the existing CS in the range but still includes rough indicator lights, metal gear shift pedals, and a leather wrapped rim. Finally, the SRP LED pedals are like the SRP pedals but without a load cell. That means the input is determined by the movement or travel of the pedals like a Logitech or entry level Thrustmaster set. But it is enough for most entry racers considering its price. That will be it for this week. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please subscribe and support us. I'm your host Cynthia and I will see you again next week. Bye!